Hello everyone. I'm getting ready to go into work, but I wanted to show you some things out here in my garden. I have a little pink rose blooming. Now these things right here are just weeds. I need to cut them down. I don't do too much out here and I really need to. There is supposed to be another rose bush planted back there, but it hasn't started blooming yet. But what I wanted to show you is over here on this side. Just these beautiful orange flowers. Now these things come up every year. They'll bloom for a few days. And then they dry up and drop off. Kind of like what you see here. See how that's dried out? But they'll bloom for a few days and they're really pretty. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what kind of flowers they are. But every year I get to see these. They come up out of these long leafy grassy things and they bloom real pretty orange and then they die out. And I need to bring my nippers out here and cut this weed down. But imagine if I took this and went, you know, do like this, I get some seeds out of there that I could plant in another area. I don't know, maybe. Anyway, I thought you guys might want to see my beautiful orange blossoms. They're really pretty. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel today. This video may be a little bit shaky because I'm using my selfie stick. Thank you for coming back today. And today is the announcing of the winner from my curtain contest giveaway. I do have a winner. Um, actually, there's two people that... Uh, will be entering in the the uh, giveaway. Um, I, I didn't really expect that anybody would figure out everything on what I'm planning on doing, but two people did figure out part of what I was planning on doing to my curtains. So those are the two people that will be entered in the giveaway. So before we go to the giveaway, let me take you back into the kitchen and show you the curtains again and then tell you exactly what I'm planning on doing to them. And then I will draw the winner from the giveaway bucket. Like I've said, this is going to be a little bit shaky <laughs> because I'm using my selfie stick. Now, this right here, I guess I have a little bit of OCD Kind of a bit of a perfectionist, not exactly, but sort of. But if you see right here, see how this doesn't match up? And then see right here how this is a little bit higher? Okay, what I'm planning on doing is I'm trying to show you up here at the top of the curtains. I'm going to lift this up a little bit to where. The bottom matches like that. So it'll come together and be a better fit. Uh, these curtains were actually bought for another set of windows in another house that I lived in. And that's why they don't fit here. And the other thing that I'm going to do, if you look over here, see how much of that curtain rod is left? Take you on this side. See how much curtain rod? What I'm planning on doing is I'm push. I'm gonna put. Plan on pushing the curtain all the way over and around on both sides. Now see the big gap in the middle. I want to fill that in so that once I take this up, it'll go together like it's supposed to. And the way that I'm planning on doing that over here on the side where it's bigger, I'm going to be sewing 
down this side on the border, I'm going to be sewing a piece of material. I'm going to pull the curtains apart in the middle, measure that distance across there, split it in half. Like, let's say, for instance, the whole thing measured 10. I'm going to cut two 5-inch strips of material. Put one 5-inch strip of material on this side. And then the other 5-inch will go on that side. So that the middle can stay together like this. And the curtains will completely fill the curtain rod out like they're supposed to. So one of the people that guessed uh, was talking about up there. See how that one looks like it sticks up and the other one looks like it don't? The other side over there, it does have that flap, which I can't, I have to get up here. <laughs> okay. This side right here, the flap sticks up. It looks like there's not one over here. There is. It's right back here. See? For some reason, it just lays down. I will tack that together to where it'll stand up. When I turn loose, of it, it's going to flop right back over. But it, it does have the piece that goes with it. I just want this part here to match up instead of being like that. It was like that when I bought it. And I've intended for years to come back and fix this to where it matches better. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Uh, here's the paper. Oh, I have the names written down of the two people. One of them guessed up there at the top about straight straightening out up there where the material is sticking down and ripping the stitches out and making it even, which is what will be done to this part right here. And the other person guessed about the outside edge of putting a border on it. So nobody really guessed the whole thing about, uh, you know, bringing this up to make it fit. The person that guessed that said something about the top. And I figured they probably saw where that was laying down and thought there wasn't one. But that's what I'm going to do is stitch that so that the top matches up. And that's exactly what they said. That I was going to rip it out and stitch it back together so that it, the left side matched the right side. Which is partly what I'm doing. And then the other person said about putting a border on the outside edge. And the two people who I picked that had the right answers, the first person that answer came in was Brian Perendy. So, Brian, you're in the drawing. And then later on, the second person come in with their comment about the border on the side over here. And that was Tennessee Valley on my mind. All right, here's the container. And I'm doing it the way I did the other drawing. I just have number one and number two in here. These two little round discs. One is number one and the other is number two. Then I'm going to shake them up. And I have the numbers by the person's names on here. Brian's number one. And Tennessee Valley on my mind is number two. Because that's the order that their their answers come in. So good luck to you both. And I do have plans, um, hopefully sometime this month, to do my um, giveaway drawing of my Timu products that I've been collecting. Because I have quite a variety back there of uh, Timu products that I that I have set up to give away. So I plan on be doing that uh, giveaway this month also. My goal in the future is to have one giveaway each month. 
All right. One and two. Here we go. And I'm closing my eyes. I'm not looking. I'm going to pick this one. Here's what I've got. And it is number two, Tennessee Valley on my mind. So Tennessee Valley on my mind, if you're watching this giveaway video, you are the winner of this random giveaway. And uh, I will be getting together a box of goodies to send to you. May include some Timu products. All I need for you to do is contact me through my email address and send me a mailing address to send your package to. My email address, I will either leave it down below in the prescription, the, <laughs> the, the description box, or you can find it on the contents of my channel in the about section that tells about me. I have my address and my email and all the information about me there. You have 48 hours to contact me. If I do not hear from you in 48 hours, you will forfeit the giveaway and I will send it to Brian. So thank you guys for coming today and watching this video. Thank you everyone for entering and guessing. I enjoyed reading all the ideas that you guys come up with for me. I do already have the fabric bought to do this. I've had it bought for quite some time. I just haven't got my lazy butt in there and got it put together. But I will. Thank you once again, and we will see you in the next video, and y'all come back and see us any old time. Bye for this one.